hello friends in this video tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, to clear your concept is about uh, three different types of ions in mass spectrometry uh, one is a parental ion which is a molecular ion then the fragment ion then what is metastable ion okay so we'll be talking about ions and especially uh, molecular ion fragment ion and metastable ion okay so there are a lot of confusions regarding all of these names but actually these are very very simple so let me explain you now for understanding all of these ions you must know the basic principle of mass spec and the basic principle remember if I draw the instrument of a mass spec then it will be clear say this is schematic representation and say this is the source region this is the long analyzer portion and this part is where detector is present okay so these are the three sections the major sections of a mass spec instrument now in this source we must have our molecule our ion source so here it comes this is our source and let's say here it is our electron gun okay so this is electron gun which fires electron and this is our source the usual uh, what is usually the basic process of mass spec is that we are having our molecule our molecule of our interest and that molecule for example here it is say this is our molecule now this molecule is heated this is hit by the electron now let me draw the electron let's say this red color thing is the electron so electron will come and hit this molecule as a result of this bombardment of this molecule with the electron this molecule changes its uh, this molecule uh, this electron actually let me draw this molecular structure if I draw the molecular structure in much more detail in this way so if this is the nucleus and these are the surrounding regions now the electron will come and there are the electrons present there in different regions right in different uh, parts actually okay electrons are present now the electron that is coming out from outside will hit one of its electron and kick this electron out of this place so what it is doing so now after the bombardment up to this molecule it converts this molecule one electron less so it is relieving one electron so one negative charge is deleted from this ion so how can you depict that we can write it like that so one electron is released from this ion and it generates a positively charged cation and obviously this electron is also coming out so we are having two electrons coming out right and we can also write one lone pair of electron due to this kind of electron removal right so we have one lonely, ele lonely electron and one positive charge to denote that this ion is converted this particular molecule is converted to this cation now this type of ion is called the molecular sorry molecular ion why it is called a molecular ion because it is nothing but the molecule itself but simply deletion of a one electron and that's why it is having one positive charge and one electron stays there so this event happens in this source region so let me draw this event so here comes the molecule and here comes the electron so electron will hit it as a result what it generates two electrons and it will provide it will make this to this m plus and a dot right this is the called the molecular ion right so it is the actual molecular structure so now up to this point we are only have deletion of one electron is done but rest of the molecular structure is there so no breakage in the structure occurs but now as this molecular ion is if, if the molecular ion is long suppose this molecule is a very small molecule tiny molecule suppose it's a simple molecule like carbon now in those case if it is a carbon molecule then what will happen here due to the activity of this uh, say if this is a, about the carbon atom only for example so this electron hit it we get a carbon simple uh, structure like that but it cannot break, uh, break right because it's so tiny but suppose it's a long carbon chain say propane butane like that long chains now linear chains now chains like that after even after releasing of this electron there is a chance 
to be broken down right as they are longer larger due to this kind of generation of molecular ion these molecular ions are unstable because they are not uh, what we can say they are not satisfactory to achieve the stability they need to break further so there is a tendency for the breakage of molecular ions into smaller fragments right if the molecule is larger long and linear and having chains but if it is a small one then it won't break right now consider that we are talking about different mass spec of molecules like biomolecules like peptides amino acid sequences they are large chains so there is a tendency for them to getting broken down into small fragments to generate stable fragments right now the molecular ion will be further divided in those cases now the dividing of the molecular ion let me uh, look at here so so it divide into smaller fragments let's say this green fragment is one so these are other fragments which are generated after the breaking of this molecular ion here so right so the molecular ion is generated in source it can also be broken down in source into smaller fragments now the fragments that are generated from molecular ion is called fragment ions right so it will be getting fragmentized now, if it is fragmentized into smaller fractions right like that it will generate smaller fractions it will be called fragment ions fragment ions right let's say this one it will generate fragment ions now this fragment ion generation is also in the source region remember this also in the source region so let it let me write it here fragment ions so also fragment ions are source so here it is the molecular ion is in the source fragment ion is also in the source right this one is a molecular ion anyways now some of this molecular ion may not be broken in the source so they achieve some kind of stability so they just pass through the source region into what is called in the analyzer right so they come into the analyzer and when they are passing through this analyzer then they are broken broken down into smaller fragments like that into the analyzer right so if the molecular ions are giving rise to smaller fragments in source we are calling them fragment ions but if they are broken down in analyzer after traveling a long path right so it traveled a wrong path but then it divides then it break down to small fragments then we call these fragments then we called this fragment as metastable ion right because these ions are not that stable slightly stable than this fragment ions because fragment ions are not stable because in this molecular ions are not that much stable that's why they're broken broken down and give rise to other ions but these ions are metastable ions a slightly bit stable because that's why they transfer from this through this path they transfer this long path that's why they are called the metastable ions right they are generated in the analyzer region okay now remember for uh, the mass of this molecular ion and fragment ions it's simply the mass of molecular ion is denoted with so let's say mass of molecular ion simply depicted as uh, say uh, small m like that okay now let's say mass for this fragment ions so it's a mass for fragment ions it's say let's say asterisk of this small m let's say this is the mass now if there are two fragments are generated from one molecular ion and the mass of the molecular ion is capsis capsim sorry uh, small m like that and these are the mass of the molecular ion two molecular ions molecular one as uh, sorry fragment ion one and fragment ion two so these are the fragment and this is the molecular ion mass so as the molecular ion give rise to the fragment ions the mass addition of the mass of all those fragment ion will give rise to the mass of the molecular ion right simple as that so it's a mass of molecular ion if it break down to small fragments if we add all of them we get the molecular ion mass but for this metastable ions the mass of this metastable ion try to focus on mass of the metastable ion depends on mass of itself as well as the mass of the molecular parent ion which is this one 
so the mass of this fragment ion, uh, metastable ions are not only depend upon their own mass but they also depend on the mass of their parent ion so if we consider m star as the or m asterisk as the mass of this metastable ion let's say the mass here it is m staggered uh, or m star like that now it will be m of f which is the mass of the metastable ion divided by the mass of the parental ion so let's say here it is the mass is denoted with mp so this is the mass and this is the result right so let's say this is the mass is mf so this is the ratio which is telling us the exact mass of the metastable ions right so that is something unique about the metastable ions right so it depends upon both this thing and this metastable ion peaks usually broader broader means usually when we look into the graph what we can get we get different peaks like like this this type of peaks but metastable peaks usually slightly broader like this this so that means these are the metastable ion peaks that means the ion that are generated here are of metastable nature and their mass is not only depend upon their own way uh, molecular mass it also depends on their parent ion right so that's it and i hope that help you to understand what are the these things okay thank you